awesome day. I'm here with my February favorites. Um, it's been a very interesting month, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I feel like this has been very much a transition month. My tastes have been very bipolar. <laughs> the beginning of the month, I'm wearing more winter themed things. And towards the second half of the month, um, I'm wearing like more spring related items. So yeah, I'm going to start off with a fashion favorite actually. And it is this beanie from H&M. I got it for Christmas and it has just been so like fun and easy to wear, nice and warm. Um, it's just super, super cute. Um, I just love wearing this on days when I'm like, don't want to do my hair really. And I just want something quick and easy that's still cute. Um, and I've been super into purple lately, so yeah. Just really been loving that. Speaking of hair, I wanted to also mention my new flat iron that I got for Christmas. This is the Kiss brand, and this is the red style, I guess you could say, um, flat iron. It is silicone, and it is really supposed to make your hair um, more hydrated and smoother, which I think is really, really cool. Um, it is really, really good. It heats up literally in like 15 seconds, it says on the box, and it's true. It's amazing. So it heats up really fast and really gets the job done. Um, I feel like this straightens my hair a lot better than my old kind of flat iron. And I've just been super in love with it. It looks amazing. So yeah, I definitely want to mention that. The beginning of this month, as far as makeup goes, I've been very minimal um, as far as face stuff goes. Um, so on those days, I usually just wear concealer and powder. And the powder that I've gone back to using is the Rough Line Nearly Naked in the shade Deep. I really like this stuff. Um, it's lightweight, but it still gives you a good amount of coverage. So I've just been taking like a buffing brush and using this um, and then applying under eye concealer and calling it a day basically. On the days when I do want to wear foundation, I've been using my Beauty Blender a ton. This is just a pink one. Um, I really, it took me a while to kind of warm up to this, but now I really like it. Um, it is really good at kind of blending out your foundation and thinning it out, which is great because I've been using my Rub On Color Stay and that's a little thick for me. Even though I do like more full coverage, I feel like my skin has been getting um, a little bit cakey. So yeah, um, I've been using my Beauty Blender to apply it. It's been working really great. Um, and yeah, I've been super into it. So. So for face products this month, I have really been loving my NYX Cream Blush in the shade T-Rose. It's just been really nice and quick and easy to apply. It's just kind of a peachy pink, but it's on the more neutral side. So it still gives you like a slight hint of color, um, but the cream formula just gives you more of a glow and things like that. Um, I either use my fingers to apply it or I use a contour brush, just kind of depends on my mood that day. Um, but yeah, I've really been into this. And then layering on top, I'll either use my Hourglass Blush and Diffused Heat, which is a really, really pretty wet pink color with some shimmer. It's not like noticeable shimmer, it just gives you more of a glow. It's really, really gorgeous. Or I will not use that and just use my Chroma Beauty Bronzer on top of the cream blush. And I just really like the look that it gives. It's really natural, but it still gives you a bit of a glow. Normally, I will use this middle shade here. Then I'll use the dark shade to contour if I'm feeling froggy. Or I will just um, apply this white shade as a highlight. It's really a great multi-use product. It just kind of depends on my mood. But this has been getting a lot of use lately, and I've been loving it. My most worn eyeshadow this month has been by Urban Decay. This is the shade Buck, which is also in the Naked One palette. Um, but I just got this individually because this is the color and the palette that stuck out the most to me. I absolutely love the packaging of their single eyeshadow. I think it's really pretty. Just metallic silver and the color of the shadow is kind of a taupey medium tone of brown. Um, it's really interesting and unique. I'm actually wearing it in the crease today. Um, and to apply it, I have been loving using my Sonia Kashuk blending brush because I've been liking more of a defined or cut crease lately. Um, so I just use these two together and I really, really like the look that it gives me. Um, it's still slightly smoky, but it's not super intense. And finally for Whoopies, beginning of the month, I have been really, really liking my Rimmel Exaggerate 
I think this is the full color lip liner in the shade Red Diva, which is just a pretty standard candy apple red color. Um, I love these liners because they're retractable, they're super thin, so they don't take up a lot of space in your makeup bag. Um, and they're really pigmented as well. See, it gives you really nice pigmentation. It kind of feels like a crayon on your lips, like you're actually drawing on the color. Um, and these are really expensive. They're like four bucks. So, yeah, we really like this. I also love the color East End Snob. Um, so yeah, this is like one of my favorite um, lip liner brands. So, yeah, super, super into this this month. And my most worn gloss this month has been the Milani lip gloss in the shade Sweet Grapefruit, number nine. And I've just been loving this lately. Um, I love the finish of it. It is the Brilliant Shine brand or line of the glosses. Um, and the applicator is amazing. It really like hugs your lips. It's more flat, but it's slightly curved in the middle. The finish is just really great. It makes your lips look like wet, but like in a cool way if they're mixing. I don't know. The part doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but here's the color. It's a beautiful like peachy pink, slightly on the coral side. It smells amazing like it smells like starburst kind of smells like the color statement lipsticks which i love the smell of those um but yeah this has been definitely a favorite all right guys that is it um i hope you like this give us a thumbs up if you did feel free to subscribe as well for more videos and leave me comments down below on what you would like me to do um i always take in requests and suggestions and things like that so yeah um also have my twitter and instagram and facebook link down below um check out my second channel as well if you are interested in just a variety of different videos of the cooking video this month i do like non-beauty favorites i do singing videos over there a whole bunch of different stuff so yeah um that's it i will see you guys later